Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. And tonight, we'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Washington Wizards here in Capital One Arena. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Mitchell and Strews, they're the guards. Okoro out there with Wade. And it's Allen in at the five spot. And for the Wizards, sliding in at the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. Underneath, we'll see Kuzma and Gafford. And it's Jones in at the one. Well, we're well into the season now. Brent, our team's about where you thought they'd be in terms of rank at this point. Well, there's always a few surprises, but those elite teams, they've done what we expected them to do, and that's rise to the top. It only gets harder to imagine that these teams would slip out of that position at this point. Now, here's Wayne. Strews with it. Shot clock at six. For three, Mitchell. Good on the three-point shot. And Mitchell is a confident scorer, including from downtown. Last game for the Cavaliers, it was a loss to the Raptors in Toronto. Jones with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Jones, no luck. The Cavaliers on offense. It's a three-point game. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Now the pass to Wade. To the inside. Here's a Coro. Nifty move. Rebounded by the Wizards. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And if you had to point to one problem in that game, it, it was their rebounding. Flat out terrible. I think you can be a little bit rattled when you lose the physical battle as badly as they did in that game. That can be tough to shake off. So it's a, a matter of getting over those doubts and finding yourself again. That's good from Poole. And if you watch Poole enough, you're really going to appreciate that he can get it done in so many ways on the offensive end. All free throws, good from Poole. The past few seasons have seen frequent shakeups to the Wizards roster. Yeah, the, the Wizards have been a bit of a, a lab in terms of trying to figure out what exactly it is that they're going to have that works. What's the recipe here? What's the perfect fit here? And I'm sure in time it's going to come together. I always wonder about those bigger guys, how much easier a read is like that, and Allen finds the open guy set up to shoot it. Jones, no luck. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just clanked it. Allen, left side. Rebounded by Gafford. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Jones, the pass to Gafford. Now, Poole, defended by Struess. Offensive rebound. Gafford kicks to Poole. Kuzma against Wade. Kuzma, that's good. Kuzma absorbing contact, focusing on the rim, and why not get the finish? Jones against Mitchell. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best.
And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Allen. George Niang comes in for Wade. Karis LeVert's checked in for Isaac Okoro. And Porter subbed in for Max Struess. Now here's Wright. Fires for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Outside, Porter. Passes it to Niang. Back to Porter. Cleveland moving it around. Now, here's Levert. Guarded close. It's rebounded by Koulibaly. For Washington, they've gone 2 of 6 on the field. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Second chance shot. Doesn't go for him. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers have gone 50% from the field, hitting 3 of 6 since the opening tip. Levert kicks to Porter. It's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Five seconds left to play in the first quarter. From 12 feet out. And that one released in time, but no good. Tie game in Washington. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Wizards, guys. Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. Yeah, they were going right at the opponent here and forcing their hand. I mean, like, literally making them foul them. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And, Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. They've got Max Truce. Allen is out there with George Nian. Then it's Porter. And it's Okoro in at the three seat. Now here's Porter. Hasn't made one yet. Niang off target with his three. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. The kick out to Poole. And the three off target. The Cavaliers trailing. Inside. Here's Bruce. And he goes in for the dunk. Okoro showing his ability to find an open teammate. Wizards have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. Now, here's Porter. Following the miss by Kyle Kuzma. Six to shoot. Going inside. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. We'll take a look at the Cavaliers. They're seventh right now. Not a bad spot, but certainly they like to string together a run of wins. And, of course, the Wizards just way behind. And seeing where Washington is, they're already looking to the offseason. And that's a shame. Their fans deserve a little bit more from this team. The body language right now kind of telling the story. Losing takes a huge toll on you, especially during an 82-game grind. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Cleveland. 
Only given up two points this quarter. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. Here's Porter, and the rejection by Gafford. Jones against Porter. On the basket by Jones. Time out, time out. Jones has got the lead up to two now for Washington. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. That final score really caught a lot of people off guard. I think we would have to quantify that one as an upset. Uh, no question. I know I did not see that coming, especially when they had a chance to win it late in the fourth quarter. I thought for sure they'd get it done. Big group substitution here for Cleveland. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Wade comes in for George Niang. Karis LeVert's checked in for Okoro. And it's Mitchell in for Porter. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is, which end does it happen on? Offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. In transition, here come the Wizards. And they've had two completely different quarters. Still goal percentage just over 20 in the first and they've shot themselves out of that slump and have the lead here in the second. Now here is Levert. He's coming off a 31 point game against Toronto. Pass to Mitchell. Let's it go from deep. Cleveland with a fresh shot clock. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. And that's only the first time this half. But for Kevin, they've done a great job here in that regard. that time from Levert. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Washington out in front. Up four. We'll be back shortly live from Washington. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back everybody. This home crowd is elated about what they've seen so far. I'm Ernie Johnson. That's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Kenny Smith. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Wizards. There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. Jack, how do you think Cleveland played? Terrible execution deal offensive end. Rushing things, taking bad shots. Here's a thought. Pound the ball inside. Higher percentage looks. Put yourself to the line. Get back on track. 
And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Wizards leading by four. Underneath, we'll see Kuzma and Gafford. Sliding in at the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. And it's Jones in at the one. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Now, here's Mitchell. He kicks it to Okoro. Wade outside. Now, here's Okoro. He's guarded closely. Four on the clock. For three, Mitchell. Washington with the rebound. Avdia's got four rebounds now tonight. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Uh, you know, when you look at his numbers this season, he's had a respectable number, 77%. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. The Cavaliers trail by six. Now, Struess. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Now here's Jones following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. Pass to Avdia. Cool against Struess. Here's Kuzma. And a miss there on the triple. The Cavaliers shooting a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Well, Kyle Kuzma has always been a crazy confident person. He said, I've always had this incredible self-belief that no matter who I'm on the court with, I'm the best player. And that's gotten me to this level. That's gotten me to where I am. So my irrational confidence has always been a key thing for me. Kevin, back to you. Well, he owns it, David. I like that. Thanks. Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Wade outside. And here is a Okoro. Rebound, Washington. Gafford's got four rebounds in this game. It's stolen by Wade. Jones against Mitchell. And slam dunk by Allen. You could put that ball just about anywhere for Jared Allen. Puts those long arms to great use. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over.
Both teams deciding to change it up. And here we can check out the score for Donovan Mitchell. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Koulibaly. Levert defending. And so Levert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Now, here's Mitchell. They are just killing them on the interior. Here's Koulibaly. Levert defending. The pass to Kispert. Launches a three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Wizards lead by five. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Here's LeVert. Washington with the rebound. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Shamit kicks to right. Passes it to Muscala. Just five to shoot. The dish to Kispert. Shoots over Levert. A shot's good from Kispert. And it's a seven-point Wizards lead. Now that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Now, here's Mitchell. He has seven. Takes the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. He got it up, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Wizards lead by seven. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and... You love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. So on the floor for Cleveland, Okoro out there with Wade. Then there's Allen. Then there's Karis Levert. And it's Mitchell in at the point. Now here's Allen. Puts it up. It's good, and the Washington lead is cut down now to just five on the basket for Mitchell. And don't give Mitchell too many of those looks. Once he gets in rhythm, it is hard to stop him. Here's Muscala. And it's sent back by Allen. And that's part of what Mitchell brings to the table. The, the willingness to operate on the perimeter or get in there and mix it up on the interior. throw drops for Mitchell and we've seen Mitchell go up against much larger defenders throughout his career and the reason he makes it look so easy is because of that 6'10 wingspan keep in mind he stands at 6'1 but that's incredible length at his height Daniel Gafford's checked in for Muscala and Cleveland with a change here too Struess is checked in and Mitchell drops them both at this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Pass to Gafford. And here is Poole. And Poole making sure to draw contact as he's going to find his way to the line.
That's good from four. All free throws, good from Poole. The Cavaliers trail by five. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Rebounded by the Wizards. Gafford's got five rebounds tonight. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two saves. Mitchell against Jones. Excellent D there from Allen. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Okoro passes to Struess. Dishes to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. And it's Struess missing. You know, the ill-advised threes isn't how you want to close the gap. They've got to have better shot selection. Pool, no good. The Cavaliers trail by five. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. And a volume score, Mitchell excels at getting inside and converting. Jones, the pass to Gaffer. Kicks to Avia. Plays it up and banks it in. Avdiev's got his first basket of the night. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. For three, Mitchell hits the three-point bomb. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call than this guy? Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're up by two. 137 left in the fourth quarter. A moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Daniel Gafford. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight seemed almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Wizards making a switch here. Kispert's checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? I was able to listen in on what Wes Unsell Jr. had to say to the team. He was very fired up. He said, look, this is going to be a big win for us. We close this out, and we'll show the rest of the league who we are. Thank you, David. So it's Washington now. The Cavaliers making the shot. The shot's good from Kuzma. And Kuz on the cruise with that bucket. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Trailing by two. Mitchell against Jones. Pass to Struess. To take the lead. Offensive rebound. L. Oh, yes, sir. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. 
And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Kuzma inside. Wade is covering. Another miss by Kuzma. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. It falls! Time out, time out. Big time play there from Mitchell. Remember, he's been the go-to guy since his rookie year. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Possession. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Kuzma can't get it to go. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. And just like that, this game is a two-possession affair. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kuzma kicks to Jones. Over Mitchell. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Good, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Breathe easy now. The biggest free throws in the game, and he's coming through. Here's Kispert. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Cleveland who comes out on top here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And that about wraps it up for Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long.